What's up everybody? This your boy Eric Reads Computer Solutions. So this is part two of my series on how to use green screens in a video. If you watch my first video, I showed my whole studio and all the green screen that I have behind me, also the lighting. Uh, this episode of uh, this series of green screening, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit the video using green screen. I'm going to do it very simple, very easy. Uh, I'm going to use the program that's called Camtasia. Now that's about a $300 program, editing software program that I use from time to time to edit some of my videos. I'm going to use that software because it's fairly easy uh, for me to do. I'm also going to do uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects in a later video. But this video, I'm going to concentrate on Camtasia and green screening. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready. Let's go to do some video editing. All right, guys, this is Eric again with another video. So let's go to do some editing uh, with uh, Camtasia. Now, the version of Camtasia that I'm using is the 2018 version. And as you can see, it's uh, $249, also with a $49 uh, maintenance fee. So uh, for me, I'm using both. So it's about 300 bucks. Uh, that's one of the things that, that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Now, so let's get some prereqs out the way. If you want to do some uh, video editing with green screen, you can't do it on an i3 processor uh, with two and three gigs of RAM. You need a powerful machine to do this type of stuff. Uh, and uh, I mean, at least an i5, at least with six or eight gigs of RAM in it, uh, you need something with maybe some dedicated graphics. So uh, if you want to get a smooth experience using Camtasia or any high-end video editing software, you're going to need a nice, a beefy computer. Now, the, the PC that I'm using it right here is an i7 i got about 16 gigs of ram in it i got dedicated graphics gtx graphics in here and all the bells and whistles so uh, that's what i'm using here uh, for this uh, video editing stuff so uh, what i did was i already downloaded the footage uh, that i wanted to edit right here real simple real easy so the camera that you're using uh you want to go ahead on and put it on your computer uh as far as load it right clicking it uh make it a folder and i call this folder green screen so let's go ahead and open up camtasia because i already have my files ready to go all right so when you open up camtasia uh you get a blank canvas so uh you got different functions here here. Uh, let me show you here on the side. All right. And uh, you see media, library, uh, annotation, transitions, behavior, and stuff like that on the side here. Uh, so uh, we're going to use some of this stuff here. But uh, the main thing I want to focus on is uh, only the green screen purpose here. So we're going to import media. And I already have the file that I need to import already. Uh, and I want to go to my desktop and I, I call the photo green screen. So I'm going to take these three files and import them to uh, my Camtasia. Real simple. Now, if you want to add more stuff uh, to the list here, you just right click and you see what's called import media. So we're going to import media because I want to put some music in this. And in my download file, uh, I have some uh, music that I like to always put in my videos. So I'm going to put that in there. So right now I have green screens, only green screen, and I have a music file. All right, so, but I like to uh, go on and grab some background footage, right? Because I want to kind of add some stuff to it. And uh, when I do my editing of my green screen, so I use some background here. I'm going to use this one, boom. All right, and I like to change up my background a little bit, especially when I'm green screening. If you watch my YouTube channel, you kind of notice that I use a lot of uh, two backgrounds here. So the first thing I want to do is I need to get, do some editing with my green screen. Again, you need a nice beefy computer to do this type of stuff. Uh, if you think you're gonna do this with an i3 processor, you definitely sadly mistaken. All right, so right now you see me in the background, with a green screen only. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of this green screen and just get me only. Uh, so what I do is I go over here 
and I want to go to what's called visual effect. Visual effect right here. When I click on that, uh, they got this right here that says remove color. And I'm going to take that and drag it to my timeline right on top of my subject right there. All right, as you can see, it's already taking the green out. But on the side over here, we got what's called tolerance, softness, hue. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to take my tolerance and move the toggle until all the green is gone. All right, move the toggle until all the green is gone and there's no more green on me. So as you can see, I moved the toggle, no more uh, background, and uh, I am totally good to go here. But as I did it earlier, turn this over, I want to add a background. So I'm gonna take this background and drag it, boom. All right, so now I got a background. All right, so that's my background. And now I, I'm going to go ahead on and drag this out through the timeline. Let me show you the timeline. OK, so I have my background here and this is my edit video. So what I want to do is I want to take this and drag this all the way across my timeline. All right. And now I want to take me and put it in place. There it is. So without the green screen, now I'm in place. So look at that, ain't that nice? But I got to move some stuff around here. So let's go on and, and get this right here. I wanna get that nice and pretty so I can see some of the bottom there. I also kind of lock this. And I wanna kind of make myself a little smaller. So let's do this. Let's go on and do this right quick. Let's go on and shrink that a little bit. I don't need all that. All right. So I have my character here and I'm good to go. So I want to kind of shrink that a little bit, right? Shrink this a little bit. Boom. Move me over here. All right. So as you can see, I'm right in position. This is what I want to be at right here. So let's play this. All right. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. Computer so I made a video. There it is, right? But I got to do some editing here. So let's go on and chop this up because I paused a little bit. So let me do some editing and get this right. So let me go on and play it. Let me play it. Let y'all guys see it. Boom. What's up, everybody? This your boy, Eric Meese, Computer Solutions. So this is part two of my series on how to use green screens in a video. If you watch my first video, I showed my whole studio and all the green screen that I have behind me. Right. So uh, as you can see, I completely edited this video. Uh, as you can see, the screen behind me is completely green. And uh, what I want to do is I'm using this as a demo to show you guys that uh, I'm changing the screen behind me. So as you see uh, all the editing that I've done in this video, uh, you can see that I can change the background at will. I can snap my fingers and I can do all this kind of stuff, but it looks good to the viewer. Uh, so this is one of the reasons why I'm doing these tutorial videos, because if you are a content creator or you are somebody that's eager to do green screening you just bought a lot of green screen a lot of lights and all kinds of stuff and you want to do this type of stuff go ahead on and check this video out and hey it is what it is hopefully that you learn something and if you have any questions please leave it down in the description below this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions leave your comments down below let me know what you think about green screening and all this glory I'm gonna have a part three and I'm gonna talk about Adobe Premiere and After Effects. See you guys on the next video. Peace.